just made it to Greenland. Now I dance for my guy. That's a thing. <laughs> Oh, watch this one. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Lady. Yeah. Such a cool animal. Wow. Name? Peter? Yeah. Oxu? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is not Oxu? Octu. 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 No. Octu or Octu? Octu. O. K. K. O. Octu. And Kasba. 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 Good. Day three, it's raining a lot today. The sea is pretty rough, so I don't think, well, they say that it's not a good idea to get out in the sea today because there's gonna be a lot of waves. So we're gonna play it, play it slow this morning, see if the weather improves a little, potentially hike and hunt from here. Um, yeah. Hey, Rata. Hello, Adam. How are you? <laughs> Hi. Do you like this morning or not? Well, it's part of hunting. Let everyone's legs rest from all the extreme hiking. <laughs> I think it'll lift, though, within the month. We are in bad here. Is Greenland known by its bad weather or good weather? It seems bad. It seems like the two days of weather that we had were pretty good. Pretty good. Legendary Adam Foss. No. Okay. We're gonna go grab another coffee. Okay, so now hold your tip up, get tension, and you can you can take it up on the reel if you want. Keep the tip high, tip high. So now let's pick up your slack here, and you can fight him on the reel. Go switch hands. Yep, there you go. So as he if he pulls, you know you don't want him to break off there, and then you just reel it a little bit. There you go. Get him on the reel. Nice, buddy. <laughs> like if you had light test, you know you'd match your your real to your whatever this pretty heavy chest so you'll be fine oh yeah big bull a slow morning today the sea was really rough so we came here to a lake pretty close to camp to do some fishing first couple of arctic chars on the fly for me so super stoked time to get this fish back in the water now I didn't I had never fished in my life with a fly rod and, and between Remy and Nick we're slowly making some progress. Thanks everybody. Doing Jeez. good. It's a big one, right?
Yeah, can eat now? Yes, good. Yeah. yeah. It's good. You want to save? Go grab a bowl from inside. <laughs> can I try? Oh, caviar. Yeah, it's caviar. Yeah. Oh, good. It's very mm. good. Good. It's actually good. It's really good. Yep. Cleaning some of the just in here. The waterman is cleaning the fish for for the team that we caught. We brought six Arctic char for the camp. We had a blast. And hopefully the weather gets a bit better and we can head outside this afternoon. Go chase some caribou. Back into hunting mode. Solo mission? No, it's not a solo mission, but Remy solo and I. <laughs> We are heading out that we're gonna get dropped and walk all the way to camp and hopefully we can get to see something. Weather isn't lovely, but I think it's good enough to hunt. So let's see. Pedro and I got dropped off here. It's a little bit wet today, just in the rain gear. And we're just glassing for some bedded caribou, hoping to turn something up. We kind of got dropped off because we couldn't really go out because of the weather on the more open ocean was too rough. So we just got dropped and we're just gonna work our way back to camp today. starting to burn off. We've seen a couple little bulls up here, but uh, it's beautiful up here. This is incredible country. You know, I actually didn't really know what to expect in Greenland, but this is one of the more picturesque places I've, I've been. It's incredible here. You see icebergs floating, the oceans, the incredible color, and then just all these mountains coming out of the ocean. It's a pretty good day for being rainy and Whatever, when things open up, it just looks so, so awesome. So Greenland, it's pretty crazy, like it's four sizes the size of Texas, for example, and only has 50,000 people living here. I mean, you understand why, because the winters here are, must be really tough. Actually, three quarters of, of Greenland is covered by ice, so now you can see all the islands, but at some point all these lakes will be frozen and the caribou will be walking in between. I mean, caribou are like excellent swimmers so they will swim from one island to another with no problem but there is a mix between salt, salt water here from the ocean and some lakes on the inside so it's pretty cool country we haven't seen a good bull yet today but the weather is getting better i think we have a few hours ahead of us with good weather and hopefully we can find something so let's keep covering ground I don't know how many have eaten so far. 
the bugs haven't bothered me one bit. And they're just following Pedro. I think he's allergic to him. <laughs> they are trying to murder him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. So <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> oh. Look at the box. If you don't like getting bit by black flies, then this is not the spot for you. I had like three of them in my eyeball. It's bad. Stop breathing, they won't bite you. Yeah. I think you're gonna get off this plateau. I don't know. Are we gonna be able to get down off this plateau? That is the real question. Abra. Abra. <laughs> All right. I cut my game bag to make a, an antelope stocking T-shirt. Look at that. You look so sexy. I know. It's like kind of awesome. And it duels as a bug net. <laughs> it's perfect, man. We need to find a set now. We need to find one we can sneak on. They won't, they won't see us coming. Well, they will see you. No, they will. They will. They'll be attracted to me. Look like a sexy caribou. Running through the woods now. How about having Remy Warren as your personal decoy? over my vinyl so I got that nice caribou pot belly and then an antler. This should be all it takes to get close to the big ones. I think it will work. Let's try it. Gotta find a caribou now. Gotcha. The decoy worked. I ran to about 15 yards and then they saw Pedro. <laughs> I thought I that one was gonna fight me. I had to put my hammer down. Is there another one? Maybe. Did you hear hooves? Two good bulls in there at least. One really nice one. 
and uh, looks like there's a fox that they're chasing or something. They were running for a little bit. Seems like they were kind of chasing this fox off or the fox was chasing them. Whatever was going on, they didn't like it. So we're just going to sit here, see where they go. But they're working toward this peninsula, so they're putting themselves in a good position for a stock for us. Unless they drop in the water and swim across. This is a pretty narrow strait there. Definitely there's one of the big bulls here going first. I think, yeah. I think the biggest one is in the two pack, but... I don't think they are massive. No. I think um, they are in between mine and yours, maybe. Yeah. I think yours the was bigger. The one, though, is small, but his tops are awesome. If you want big tops, go to the one towards the ocean. Super black. Actually, there are two foxes. They are completely black. Foxes here in the Arctic, they will change color places depending on the winter or summer cold. So they will turn white in the winter, but right now they are like completely dark. So the bulls are moving fast. We think that maybe the other guys just spooked them because they were hunting that other area and they sent us a message that they saw a big herd of bulls moving. So we're gonna try to see where they go and try to make a play. Say something like another beautiful day or something. Like another beautiful day. <laughs> well, that was an awesome day, and we saw some incredible sights. It was uh, a little bit rainy, a little bit slow to start, but it cleared up, and it was really nice. Okay, pretty bad day today, it has been raining all day long and basically how we hunt here, we would uh, jump in the boat early in the morning, try to drive around, try to see if we see something from, from the boat and when we get to like bigger, bigger islands or bigger pieces of land here, we will jump in, hike for one hour maybe a couple of hours depending, I mean we have been doing some longer hikes and try to see if we see something uh, in the middle of the islands but so far today the weather hasn't been helping these caribou blend in very very well with their with their greyish tone so it's hard to see them and probably they are burnt down so hopefully if the weather improves a little bit and there is less clouds, less water, less rain we can spot something. Actually, as a fun fact, the the reason they call Greenland Greenland, it was like a marketing strategy to get people to actually come to live here because they thought that if by using the name Greenland it will attract people because oh the terrain looks super green, must be very rich, very nice for the cattle and everything, but the reality is that most of it is white, cold, uh, bad weather, but the terrain is pretty cool. We're having a blast. Okay, let's keep looking for caribou. Adam spotted a pretty good looking hardhorn caribou. We just dropped the, they dropped us with the boat. Down there, quick stock. We're gonna leave the packs.
I got it. 65. I got it. I got it. The caribou is pulling off his velvet right now and you can see all the main veins that bring blood to the antlers. It's pretty neat. I would love to shoot a hard horn and I guess that I mentioned that on time because <laughs> half an hour later he's like, I just found your hard horn. I'm like, really? And as soon as we got closer, I think he may regret a little bit because he's like, fuck, that thing is big. Never. I know you didn't. Never. Yeah. I don't know. Just to see how pumped you are, buddy. It's a special. Yeah. It's awesome. And so you came to Greenland for a pal. Good job, buddy. Congrats. You know, you know you have a friend. When you get into a really nice bull, really nice opportunity, and he's like, you are gonna shoot that bull. Oh, so so many mental old buddy. Oh, he yeah. did. You got him. <laughs> we got him. Yeah. We have been Great. knowing each other, I don't know, we hunted 10 years ago or something? Yeah, yeah, 10 years. Way less gray hair. Yeah, way more <laughs> hair on me, on myself, so. We hunted in Montana once too, and now we are here in Greenland. Making, making bow hunting memories. <laughs> Slinging some arrows, having fun, and we are blessed. Congratulations, buddy. To be able to do what we do. Uh, How lucky we are. Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. That was sweet, man. Good shooting. Thanks a lot. Really? Oh, it was so stressful when the opportunities are so good, and you know you have all the time in the world, it's even worse, because mm. it's like, don't rush it. No, it was a good job of letting down too, though, because it was like, it was like, nah, it, I mean, good. I could have shot it, but yeah. it was like a bit quartering, too much quartering away, yeah. so I just let down. I was like, Pedro, don't rush it. Let's yeah. get a good shot. That's no, perfect. Frankie, thanks for being here. <laughs> good job. That's how big this character is. I can carry one. I don't know how, what you guys. Very big? Yeah. Big. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you a lot, eh? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, eh, buddy? No problem. No nice pleasure. shooting. Good caribou. Good team. Mm hmm I mean, like, I almost freaking... <laughs> and I, I got stabbed here in the leg. How? Went through my... Oh! Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's yeah. not when he was beaten over there. Yes. You doing raw tenderloin pieces? Oh, yeah, for sure. Those are nationals. I 
Sure, ja? Ja, äh, Frank Lee. Okay. You sure caribou. You sure caribou. I'll lick my thing. You don't have a piece? I ate it. He ate it already. He didn't wait for the cheers. He didn't wait for the cheers. He should be me. <laughs> Look at Frank. He's like, that's awkward. <laughs>